so today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for you and I'm going to do a purple eye with um, a nude lip and I think this is going to be a really cool look I think it's going to be really really good for those of you who's got brown eyes just like me so um, without further ado I'll begin I'm just going to tie my hair back so it's not in the way I'm going to start out by priming my face with my primer from L'Oreal this is the Lumi Magic primer which is going to give such a nice radiance and glow to my skin and I love it so so much and it feels so silky on the skin it's so nice just look at my skin already now it's so glowy thanks to the primer it's really cool it works wonders then I'm going to use actually a matte foundation actually this is a Mousse. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, um, which is a matte perfecting mousse foundation. Looks like this, and the product looks like this. Um, kind of funny consistency. Um, I haven't really worked that much with it, but um, I'm just going to try it out once again. Um, I used it a half year ago, something like that, and I think it's okay still. Oh, it is. So it's this kind of like a moussey texture, which is really, really funny. Um, so I'm just going to put some of it on my face, just around. I'm not used to working with this kind of a product. And I'm going to use my buffing brush to buff it in. I would say thanks to the primer, it doesn't look too matte on me, which is really, really nice. I mean, I do like a matte finish, but I also like a glowy finish. I like the kind of like the middle thing, and I really think that this looks good. So, perfect match. That is so pretty! I really like it. It's really, really good, and you only need the tiniest amount. Wow! I'm stunned. Then I'm going to use my Maybelline Cover Stick Concealer. Looks like this, it's in the color Ivory, and it is so much fun. I think it looks like a lipstick, but um, yeah, don't be fooled, it's not. Um, so I'm just going to use it mostly in my T-zone because that's where I tend to get oily or wear off my foundation during the day. Um, so like that, now that I look like a crazy person, I'm just going to blend it in once again. I would actually like to know, do you like these videos where I talk, where we have this kind of like a chit chat? Thing, or do you like better when I just put on music and then do my makeup because I would like to know what you prefer to see and if you've got any preferred looks or anything like that then please let me know I would really much, very much like to know what kinds of videos you would like to see from me uh, a little one up there you thought I missed you but I didn't uh -uh. Ha next I'm going to conceal my dark circles under my eyes. This is my Clinique um, airbrush concealer. Really, really great concealer by the way. It's very, very creamy, very moisturizing, but I do not find that it, um, that it creases on me, so that's really nice. And to set it all off, I'm going to use my face powder from MAC. It's the Studio Fix Powder in NC20, looks like this, and I'm just going to use a big kabuki brush for that job. I'm not going to use too much, just a tiny bit all over. Now I'm going to contour a bit, and I'm going to use my NARS, what's it called, um, blush and bronzer do, and this is with Laguna and Deep Throat, as you can see. And then I'm going to use this bunny brush here that I got with a bronzer from Estee Lauder. Um, but it's really good at contouring, so I'm just going to use it here. Suck in my cheeks and then go. As you can see, a really nice line. These brushes are perfect for that. That's actually a really good tip. When you get these kinds of brushes with your... Um, makeup and you think, what am I going to use it for? I'm just going to throw it out. Then don't keep them, save them because if you're going to um, 
to travel or something like that, then these are amazing to have with you actually. So I really like it. And it's great for contouring. This brush is amazing for that job. Also because um the was the bristles, the hairs, whatever, they're actually quite firm, so they're really really good at work to work with. As you can see, a really nice contoured face already now. It looks so, so good. And my face looks slimmer and um, just really good. So I really like it. And then I'm going to use a blush here called Deep Throat. And I'm going to use this funny little brush here, which is just a cheap one that I got when I was like 13 or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use it on the apples of my cheeks. And I like blush. I think it's so pretty. It makes you look so healthy and yeah. Especially these pinky um, colors are really, really pretty on. And if you think it's a bit too much, just blend it in with the other with the bronzer. Like that. Now it's a bit more wearable, I think. However, I do like my blush. Um, and lastly, I'm going to do highlight and I'm going to use my Stila Kitten Highlighter which is one of my favourite highlighters and I'm going to use my um, Expert Face Brush from uh, Expert Face Brush from uh, the Real Techniques once again and put it on my cheekbones and I'm a highlighter girl as well, I love it and also on the bridge of my nose and here some people don't really like to highlight, but I think it's so pretty. I think it really just enhances the face and the face's features, so I love it. Now for my brows, you all know the drill, and... Oh, ah! <laughs> whoops. I say whoops a lot, um, but I'm going to use my MAC um, Brow Duo Palette in the color Brunette, and I'm going to use my MAC 266 brush once again. Um, a stable thing for me. Some of you have asked me if I would do a, um, my brow routine and I would like to do that if you would like to see it. I mean, I don't have a, like, a really good brow routine, but I do like my brows and I do like how I fill them in. So, if you'd like to see a video about that, then please let me know. And then to set my brows, I am going to use my brow drama from Maybelline. It is the Sculpting Brow Mascara in the color Medium Brown. And um, I've tried this sometimes now and I actually do really like it. I do find that it um, makes my brows stay in place all during the day. And it's got a bit of a color to it, so that's nice as well. Now I'm going to just zoom in on my eyes. Okay, so now that I've zoomed in, I'm going to use my matte paint pot. This is the one called Stormy Pink, um, which is this um, dirty lilac purple color, which I really like. And I think it was from their Pro Long Wear um, paint pot collection. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Um, and don't think about being too... Precise. You just have to put it on to have a nice base to work on. The good thing about this one is actually that it's got no shimmer in it. It's very matte and it stays in place all during the day. And I don't find that it creases on me at all, which is really nice. Right, then I'm going to take my Smashbox, um, the Masterclass palette. And I am going to go in with the colour, what's it called? Um... Rose, this one here. And then I'm just going to take a blending brush and just blend the edges so it's not too harsh. Then I'm going to take my MAC 266 brush, which I also use for my brows, and then I'm going to take this colour called um, Aubergine right there, which is this really deep dark purple colour. And then I'm just going to draw 
a line and put it up into my crease like that. I'm just going to take my blending brush and blend it in. I would say the good thing about this is that you can actually build it up to be as intense as you want. So I'm actually also going to take the black colour down here called Blackout and I'm going to put that in my outer V as well just to make it a bit more smoky. The importance here is really just blending and blending and blending so it looks very seamless and really cool. And now I'm going to take the colour Amethyst and I'm just going to put that before the black. So like in the middle, like that. I'm just going to give this this really deep purple colour and once again blend it. Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Eye Pencil in the colour uh, Zero, or just really black, and I'm going to put that in my waterline. And then I'm going to take a MAC uh, 217 Blending Brush and blend it. So it looks a bit more smoky. And to highlight a tiny bit, I'm going to use the colour linen up here, which is this um, yellow toned highlighting colour, which is really, really pretty. Just going to put it in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. Obviously this is totally optional but I'm going to use my MAC Superstick Liquid Eyeliner to do a cat eye um, or winged eyeliner but um, it is totally optional. If you don't want that then you don't have to but I really like the look of it so I'm going to do that. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to take my Shiomura eyelash curler and curl my lashes. And then I'm going to take my 1x1 Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline and put it on my lashes. And I haven't used this mascara in forever. So I really wanted to try it out again. And for my lower lashes I'm going to use my Max Factor Clum Define Mascara because I know it doesn't smudge and it just stays in place all during the day. And 
then I'm just going back in with some more highlight. I'm just going to use this kind of a brush, which is from Neaton's Yacht. It's called 105 Black Diamond Powder Brush. Just going to use that a bit more. And then for my lips, I'm going to use my Chanel 88 Evanescent Rouge Coco Shine Lipstick, which is just this nude natural colour which looks really really good and I think it's really important when you wear such a dark eye that your lips are totally neutral so guys that was the finished look and I really hope that you like it it's a very dark probably more a night out look that I've gone for today but I really like it I like how it enhances my eyes and makes them look very smoky and nice and just oh they've got that oomph that i really like so as you can see the winged eyeliner really makes a really great difference i think and if you want to top it off even more you could use some false eyelashes however i don't think that i need it um so yeah i really like it it's very smoky very um night out clubbish but i do think that if you've got um, a nice event that you're going to, you could definitely wear this kind of a look as well. And if you've got brown eyes like me, it's a perfect look. I just want to say thank you very much for watching and I hope that you liked this video and if you did, please make sure to hit the like button and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and yeah, I just want to say thank you very much for watching and see you later. Bye!